It's about to go down between 12 local chefs in the competition dining series. The food battles start on August 3rd at Larkin Sawmill in Greenville. And we're introducing you to the chefs that will be trying to win the Red Chef's Coat. Today in our kitchen, we have the chef and co-owner of the local queue in Greenville, Charlie Brown, to tell us more about what he's bringing to the competition. Charlie Brown is bringing the competition. And you got it cooking over here, so it smells really good. What I have right here <laughs> is a, uh, it's a bullet bourbon uh, shrimp and grits. Bullet bourbon shrimp and grits. So that yeah. takes it up a, a level, Chef takes Charlie. Takes it up another notch, you know, man. I, We've all had shrimp and grits before, and, uh, but not necessarily like this one. So we got a little bit of, little bit of action here. I like it. What, what, look at there. Man, you got to watch out. Chef Charlie's in the house. Um, so tell us, what made you want to uh, be a part of this competition? Uh, just the competitive side of me, man. I played sports growing up. <laughs> I read that. Foo yeah, yeah, football. It's actually a camaraderie thing, too. There's uh, another chef in that competition. We've known each other since we were three years old. <laughs> so this, so uh, it's, yeah. it's going to be down to the wire there. Yeah. Um, and we're looking at some pictures of the local queue, which is a restaurant that everyone's talking about. has a great game vibe to it. Tell us uh, what made you want to open that, and what do you want people to get out of that, that restaurant? Uh, what we wanted to do was we wanted to open a bar. And we are 21 and up all day, every mm -hmm. day. But you run into too many bars that all they do is serve alcohol. And their right. food is just processed, <laughs> sent in, and not fresh. And we want to do something different. So, and you guys have the great food, and you try to use a lot of local ingredients. And when you go in there, there's so many different things to do. You're not just sitting there, you know, watching TV. But there's some, there's some games and stuff around as well. Oh, yeah. And we have uh, over 200 board games. We have two ping pong tables. Are you six guys that have tables. the life-size Jenga? Yes, we have three of those. <laughs> uh, man, there's just there's an endless supply of things. That's to awesome. Do. You we guys do. are right off of um, like Haywood, essentially, in the um, Haywood uh, in Haywood Plaza. Yeah, right that, across from Outback. That's yeah. that's where it is. That's, that's what. what so. Usually, when we tell people that, they realize they that. they know exactly where it yeah. is. Okay, so this competition, when is your, your matchup happening, I think? Uh, my first matchup is August 11th. It's a Tuesday. So he's already it's, planning for the next one because this yeah. is a single elimination competition. Yeah. So he's already like, I won that one. So the next one will be, uh, so August 11th is when uh, the competition will be going down for you. Who, do you know who you're going against? I forget her name. It's a girl at an Indigo restaurant up in Asheville, North Carolina. But you ain't scared. Not at all. <laughs> There's so, a, I'm sorry. So you'll go against her and then... If you make it to the next round, there, there will be another level to it. And then eventually the, the winner will be the South Carolina champion because it's the first time this has happened in South Carolina, happened in North Carolina. Yes. And then it will go and compete in that as well. Yes, there will be a, there's five different regions. So the winner of each region will meet up and uh, compete then. But there's 10 chefs from the upstate in it. In what is region. So. How cool is it to have this type of competition here in, in the upstate? Obviously, the food culture here is uh, the food scene has grown and people are really talking about us. So that's a pretty neat pro process to have that. Yeah, it's, uh, it's really exciting. And the uh, Got to Be North Carolina uh, competition series. <laughs> yeah. So it's only North Carolina sponsored right so now. So South we're Carolina is about to show what we're yeah. bringing to the table here. So we're, we're working on this. We have some finished here. You want to finish some of those up? Yeah. Finish what, up what do you think makes uh, Chef Charlie different from uh, some of the other chefs that are in the competition? Well, I, I've other never, than having an awesome beard. Yeah. Well, I've never really cared. <laughs> For the norm, but tell me, uh, you'll see in a second. And I also read on your bio, don't ever tell Chef Charlie that he can't do something. Because yeah. <laughs> I'll do it. Because he'll do it. <laughs> um, you'll see, this is just the cream sauce going on top right here. Oh, man, that looks, that looks so good. I'm going to, Chef Charlie, I'm going to grab me a, um, a spoon because I, I literally have to go then, in uh, all in there. Most people will tell you you can't put cheese with seafood, but uh, <laughs> I got some smoked gouda I like to top There he is, with. breaking all the rules. And <laughs> just a couple green onions chopped up right there. So we can buy tickets to the to the showdown happening. Uh, yours is August the 11th. The competition yes. starts on the 2nd. And so you, they're all happening at Larkin Sawmill in downtown Greenville. You get to vote on who wins, who goes to the next level. So if you like what Chef Charlie's cooking up, be sure to go to competitiondining.com. Again, August 2nd through September 9th in Greenville at Larkin Sawmill. Go say hello to him. Go and root him on. You can vote using your smartphone app right there. I'm going to be out at some of them. And I'm going to take a bite of this. And uh, Chef Charlie, while I take a bite of this, remind us where um, the local queue is if they want to get some immediate deliciousness. Local Q is at 30 Orchard Park Drive in Greenville, South mm. Carolina. You can find us at localq.com. All the information you'll ever need to know about us is this right is there. This is good. I hope you don't think you're taking this back because oh, no. it's not going anywhere. So I made two. Right there.
Thank you so much, yeah. Chef Charlie. I appreciate it. Good luck uh, on you, August sir. the 11th. Coming up next in today's studio session, the Blue City Trio is in the house. They perform in today's studio session and talk about their sound and where you can see them play next. And still to come, we have the keyword for you to win tickets to the Rocky Horror Show and also Greenville Drive. But first, we want to remind you about the Greenville Drive uh, game this week. On Thursday, CBS Sports will be in town to broadcast the game. We want to make sure that you're packing the house at Floor Field to show some of that upstate pride to the national audience. The game starts at 7.05, and we will all be there rooting for the home team. We also have some freebies going on that night. If you want to win some tickets for the family, just head over to GreenvilleDrive.com. We're also giving away a family four-pack of tickets today. Head over to our Facebook page and enter the keyword baseball. We will pick a random family to win after the show today. Good luck. We'll be right back.